Hello everyone, you're welcome back to my channel. I'm Angie Stress. Um, so <laughs> today's topic is just gonna be on sunburn. I've been getting so many calls, you know, emails of most of my subscribers and their uh, customers um, asking me about um, how to heal their sunburn and some sending me pictures seeing their sunburn. You know, I've always been saying it, um, this is summer, summer is always too hot and um, when you are brightening your skin or lightening your skin, you need to be very, very careful, especially um, out there this time around that the weather is very, very hot. So, um, I've always said protect your skin. I always say that always protect your skin people this is not a joke sunburn is our enemy that i always say that the sun is the is our number one enemy so for you to avoid it please always protect your skin okay so um a lot of uh, a lot of you have been asking me if i do sell any natural sunburn cream or some or some protection whatever i don't sell any sunscreen okay i don't have any sunscreen for sale but i'm gonna give you some tips today you know part of your life because this sunburn thing can destroy your skin and it can even give you skin cancer just the sun is very very hot if you can avoid the sun just try your possible best and avoid the sun. Stay under the shade. Wear uh, my protective clothes. Protect your skin. You know, I, I don't sell sunscreen and I know there are natural sunscreens out there, but I can't recommend any one because I can't recommend what, I, what, I, what I've not used. So what I normally use is what I can tell somebody else to use, you know. So... Today I'm going to, um, in this video I'm going to share a few tips with you that you can um, put in practice, you know, or that you can use and protect your skin this summer to avoid getting burnt by the sun or getting skin damage this summer period, okay? Um, I have I have a lot, I would, uh, maybe after giving you this tip, in my next video I'm going to show you Maybe I'm going to show you how to make one or two recipe about it. Um, but the normal thing I always recommend to use is um, body butter. Because body butter contains, uh, um, if, and it depends on the oils and the butters you use. Most of the oils and most of the butters con have SPF content in them. Um, even, uh, but there are little SPF content. Uh, why some oils have high SPF content in it. So when you use it properly, it will protect your skin. When you lay it, or when you, whenever you want to go out during the day and it's sunny out there, just apply it. Use only the body butter and go out so that your skin will be protected. You know, when you come home in the evening or later in the day, then you can have your bed and then apply your... Uh, lightning products and during summer like this please if you know you cannot avoid sun don't go out hey, sorry i mean don't apply your lightning lotion during the day when you are going out apply it only at night it works okay just use the sunscreen and protect your skin it's better uh, to be how do they give the product than to be sorry so you know so let me give you some tips that you're going to use that will help you um, <laughs> that will help you this summer to protect your skin, okay? Okay, like I've said, um, here are some natural uh, sunscreen alternatives, tips that you, when you apply it or when you put it in practice, it's going to help you um, to protect your skin throughout the summer until we get into winter again number one is wear a protective clothes okay if you are going out during the day please and you know you, you are brightening your skin 
you know, because all this skin brightness makes our skin very, very sensitive to the sun, even to the heat. If you are cooking in your kitchen and you're going to be close to your uh, uh, your stove, you know, your gas cooker, your whatever, protect your skin. The heat that comes from the from your your oven, even make as that you are using your oven, when you open your oven, the heat that comes out from your oven can destroy your skin. You know, can affect your skin. So protect your skin as much as you can. Just try your possible best to protect your skin. So my number one tip is. Wear a protective clothes, protective hat or cap, whatever. Just make sure you wear. If you are going out, try and wear a cloth that will protect your skin. Don't expose any part of your skin to the sun. Wear a hat and when you go out there, try and stay under the shade, you know. Don't stay under the sun for, more, for long. Then, tip number two is eat food that are rich in healthy, fa um, healthy fatty acids, you know, and food that are rich in antioxidants and uh, carotenoids, you know, food like um, colored uh, vegetables and fruits, nuts and um, seeds, etc, you know. So just try and eat healthy so it can help protect our skin from damage uh, from the sun internally and externally then number three you make a homemade sunscreen i have a video on my channel there on how to make a sunscreen which i made using a non-nano zinc oxide okay so you can watch you can search for the video is there in my channel you can search for it and watch and make yours you know and use it um but if you don't, if you cannot make that one, you can also, there are many um, um, homemade sunscreen that you can make. The easiest one is try using like aloe vera. Aloe vera is good, it's good for after the sun and it's also good for before the sun. You know, it, because it protects the skin and it heals the skin. So when you get aloe vera gel, and um, I always recommend aloe vera gel, the um, therapy worm. That is, um, I think it's from Fruit of the Earth or something. So that one, that one contains um, like um, it contains some oils that helps it to, you know, like that works fine. So I love that. I always recommend that to my customers that you know complains when you go out on the Sunday and come back. Just take it, you know, and apply it all over your skin anyway that you are exposed to the sun after having your cold shower. So make a homemade sunscreen using aloe vera and oils that has natural SPF in them. Okay, so here I'm going to be, I know you'll be asking what oils have natural SPF or what kind of oil. So I am going to be mentioning about 12 skincare oils that have natural SPF in them. So um, number one is carrot seed oil. Carrot seed oil have about um, 35 to 40 SPF in it. So you can use carrot seed oil, mix it with aloe vera apply it on your skin when going out in the morning or when you are going out there during the day it's going to help protect your skin from the sun okay or you can use red raspberry seed oil red raspberry seed oil contains have about um 25 to 35 spf in it if you have it you can use it and mix it with aloe vera Apply it on your skin when going out there to protect your skin from the sun. Number three is wheat jam oil. Wheat jam oil have about 20 SPF in it. You can use wheat jam oil to mix it with aloe vera and apply it on your skin or mix it with all these other oil like carrot seed oil, raspberry oil and use it and apply it all over your skin to protect your skin when you come back. Make sure you have your bed and then apply your lightning. Then number four is system oil. System oil have a little SPF of about four in it. Number five is coconut oil. Coconut oil have about four to eight, S uh, eight SPF 
in it but you cannot you can only protect maybe about 20 percent of this uh 20 percent song from you but don't don't uh, focus on using only coconut oil because some people used to call me can i use coconut oil as a sunscreen i say coconut oil can only protect 20 percent that means you have to just stay like 20 percent or just maybe if you just want to go out and come back don't it's, it's not it's not going to protect your skin 100 percent because have only uh, four to eight spf in it then number six is shea butter shea butter have up to three to six spf in it so you can't use only shea butter to protect your skin but it can protect your skin like 20 percent also of or less you know ne next is uh, number seven is almond oil almond oil have about five spf in it so you can also mix it with aloe vera and the oil, carrot oil, system oil, wheat jam oil, red rice, you can mix it with other oils so that you can increase the SPF content and use it to protect your skin. Number eight is rhubarb oil. Rhubarb oil has about a little SPF in it, which is about four SPF in it. Number nine is soybean oil. Soybean oil have about 10 SPF in it. Number 11 is hemp seed oil. Hemp seed oil have about 6 SPF in it. Sorry. Number 10 is avocado oil. I jumped that. <laughs> I jumped number 10. Number 10 is avocado oil. Avocado oil have about 4 to 15 SPF in it. So you can mix it also with other higher uh, oil like carrot seed oil or red raspberry oil or with jam oil then with aloe vera and apply it on your skin. Then um number 12 um the last but not the least is olive oil olive oil have about two to eight spf in it so these oils can be combined together you can combine all these oils together mix them together so that the spf will increase you can then uh, use it on your skin to protect your skin or you can mix it if you're in a hurry you don't have time to start you know mixing all this butter or something you can just get the uh, aloe vera i mentioned use the aloe vera and add these oils to it mix them together and apply it in your on your skin when going out during the day to protect your skin from the sun damage then when you come back when you come home later the day you can now have your uh, bed and then apply your skin like now. Okay, please protect your skin. So, like I said, protect your skin. I always recommend uh, my hydrating body butter to all my customer. This is it. I always recommend this cream to my customer. You can see it's hydrating with body butter because this this. Uh, body butter contains almost all the oils i mentioned here so it's a full spf uh, product on its own okay it's natural spf that's why when you ask me i'll just recommend this because when i'm going out during the day i apply only this then when i come home i apply this or the butter cream because i have two of this i have two body butter in, on my store the other one is brightener because it contains lightning uh, ingredients in it then plus all this spf in it so it, when you apply it, it you are protected or you can go for this this is cheaper so everybody always go for this one so you can use this to protect your skin when going out during the day you apply it when you come home you apply your skin like now some some will say is this not going to darken me it's not going to darken you my dear protect your skin it's better for your skin to be protected than you talking about that me because when you come home in evening you're still going to use all your lightness you know when you come home just for you to protect your skin during the day apply it and go out when you come home in the night you 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 bait wash it off and then you apply your skin lightener skin lightener works more at night so i think it's even better you apply your skin lightener at night when it will sink in and work very well while you are sleeping okay so that will be it for today if you need this um, cream this body butter is there in my store up there so you, I'm going to also leave the link down below, my store link, 
in the description box so that if you want to get it you can easily click and you take it to the store you get one please protect your skin protect your skin from sun damage because when your skin damage if you don't protect it when it damage you will start calling her how do i get rid of all these bones my dear <laughs> <laughs> they say prevention is better than cure, isn't it? So please try your possible best to protect your skin. That's why I always give you tips and uh, products. I would say make yours and use. But if you cannot make your maybe in a hurry, like in this country here, we everybody is always busy. Nobody have time for like going sourcing for the ingredients and sitting down making it. That's why they asked me to make for them, you know? So you can easily go to the store and just get one. It doesn't cost much. It will not protect your skin, you know? I love this so much because it protects the skin from sun damage. It builds your skin for those that have skin vein, green vein, and it also take care of any stretch mark on your skin if you are using it always. Because they say when you rub it in, your stretch mark using like two times every day, it helps. Like the feedback I've gotten, people that it helps, they say like rubbing it in every day helps them get rid of their. So that will be it for today's tutorial. I just want to make this quick uh, video because I've been getting so many email and calls. Everybody's skin. <laughs> People are complaining of skin bone, skin bone, skin bone. So I just say, let me just make this quick uh, video and give you guys this um, natural sunscreen alternative tips so that we can protect our skin and glow together. Okay? Take care of your skin, guys, and drink lots of water, especially this time around. Always drink water. Drink more water, okay, to keep your skin more hydrated. All right, guys. So... If you are new or you are passing by, please, before you leave, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And, of course, give this video a thumbs up if, or if you like it. And um, share the love, you know. Spread the news and let everybody benefit from the message. I will see you guys in my next video. Stay organically beautiful. Bye-bye. Love you all.